Hello everyone, it's Ian on the west coast of Ireland and we're just doing an upgrade video on our wind turbine we're designing. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, originally we had the, um, the 2 to 1 ratio belt drive going into a PMG. Uh, that was given to us by Jeff in Missouri Wind and Solar to mess around with. And that was what the original idea of the turbine was, to be a belt drive. But then I thought to myself, do I need another turbine? No, I'll incorporate the actual flux turbine into the belt drive turbine as well. So this is our actual flux uh, generator. That's the rear rotor and we're just doing the front rotor now. And uh, this will be a 48 volt uh, grid tie um, for exporting your electricity to the grid um, through a grid tie inverter. This um, PMG will be for our battery backup system. So I was going to upgrade my battery bank to um, 24, 48 volts, but I decided to keep it at 12 volts. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen my batteries. I've got two huge, great six volt rolls deep cycle batteries, um, for about 500 amp hour. So I have a sufficient battery backup um, if the power goes down. Uh, yeah, so everything's now been upgraded. All everything on here now is stainless steel, so it won't corrode. And um, the what else have we had? Oh yeah, we added a spring to the tail. Um, we live on a very windy site, and it does get a bit. Um, furling gets very um, aggressive. Um, in, in high winds, so we need a spring to slow that down. Uh, the blades are about a 10 foot swept area. Um, we'll try the two blades and uh, if we need to make another set of blades we'll put three blades on or we might need to put bigger blades on. But we make our own blades now so size with blade wise uh, isn't a problem. Um, the furling tail, uh, yeah, we mentioned that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, uh, we, like I say, we live on a very windy site, so um, what we've got basically, when you break a turbine or park it, um, in high winds, 100 mile hour winds, uh, it can be still take the blades can be taken by the wind, and um, it will spin violently on its own, free spinning which can be can get things a little bit hot so this will have a dual braking system so when that's braked and the actual flux is braked uh, we'll have a, a completely fixed um, turbine blade that just won't go around we won't need to feather our blades uh, at all we can just leave them fixed in that position i uh, got to do the tower next. I'm just going to upgrade the tower a little bit. Uh, so that's going to take me a week. And um, So I won't do another video until the turbine's on the tower. So this is the last time uh, you'll see the video of the turbine in the workshop. So we'll have a front rotor here, the nose cone and the blades. So this is grid tie inverted to export electricity. This is 12 volt battery backup system. Uh, rotor bearing, sorry, flat bearing there sits on a a washer bearing system. Forgotten what it's called. Uh, yeah, that's about it really. Okay, everyone, this is Ian from the west coast of Ireland showing you my um, dual purpose wind turbine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave some interesting comments.